Hyder will unravel Singapore's glorious past, show you its vibrant present. We're now at Riverside Point, situated just opposite Clark Key. On your right, you'll witness the interesting mix of colorful shop houses amidst the tall skyscrapers. This place is now world famous, made more noticeable in contrast to the ultra-modern structures in the background. Bankers and businesses chose to site themselves here. The shop houses form a charming contrast of Singapore's developing years. After enduring years of hard work driven with unwavering resolve. The oldest existing bridge along the river. This bridge was completed in 1869 and named after Sir William Cavanaugh, an early pioneer. It now stands guard at the river's mouth in a new park over at the One Fullerton. Many early immigrants landed here. On the far edge of Marina Bay, behind the Esplanade, you'll witness how Singapore continues to develop. There are many hotels, banks, and convention centers. boats painted with eyes, which you may see floating on the river. They're called bum boats. Now, according to Chinese legend, these boats were designed by a crafty Chinese emperor who was not in favor of foreign influences on his expeditions. He encountered a lion when he first landed at the mouth of the Singapore River. George Drongold Coleman for his invaluable contributions to Singapore's development. And we expect it to last quite a few more. On your far right is the High Street building. Speaking of food, Clark Key brings back the past in its numerous pushcart food stalls. You can choose from a wide array of local delicacies. 